Danny. What's your next appointment? Just about now, so I should get going. Come in. Come on, Ophelia. Should I pick her up in 15 minutes? That sounds perfect. Hi, Ophelia. It's uncanny how much you two look alike. Everyone says that. I don't see it. Alright, sweetie, do you want to play with this toy while we talk? I'm... I'm okay. Alright, so what brings you in here today? Well, every night I see fires and scary things in my dreams. Come on in, you're just in time. Sweetie, um, I'm going to speak to your mom for a minute. I heard from Ophelia that she watches the hands off music every night. That's true. I would suggest that you read a bedtime story to her instead, because I know that she loves snuggling with you, but I think the news is a source of her night terrors. Thank you. Sure enough, Ophelia's nightmares disappeared. This case was a walk in the park. A good kid, supportive parents, a solvable problem. Hey Annie, we have a new therapist named Mary started today. Can you, can you show her around? Of course. Hi, you're Mary, am I correct? That's it. Nice to meet you. Your first client will be named Frankie. He's been diagnosed at... He's just starting salary for here. Hey, I better get to my office. My next appointment's about to start. Okay, thank you so much for helping me out. Of course. If I feel like I've connected to a client, or I gave them relief for a little while, or I've gotten them to a different place, then that feels good to me, even if it's a heavy session. But there are some sessions where people are in such a tough spot that it can really weigh on me. There was one client named Amy who had me working very hard to find a solution. I would come home only to think about how to help her pull herself back up. While talking to Amy, I learned about her life. I heard about how she was bullied in middle and high school, about how her parents died when she was 17, about how she can't seem to keep a job for more than a month. She was just so depressed. I kept trying to figure out a way to make her feel better. I'm trying to look on the bright side. I want to find a way to make her feel better, but it's just not working. I don't know. You might need to find a new method to make her feel better. That's it. I can't just make her feel better. If I could, people would be lining up out the door and I'd just wave my magic wand and make feel better. That's not how therapy works. I have to get to her and really talk to her to make her help through her depression. Learning this was huge because that's what, a lot of what I do. I can't fight the depression, but I can be there and try to understand it a little bit better with my patients. Fixing patients' problems can be extremely simple or extremely hard. Every patient varies in their own way, and there isn't one universal way to help them. Every patient is a new story with their own troubles, with their own rises and falls. I once had a patient named Maggie who was extremely affected by bipolar disorder. She laughed and cried every session. What she loved, she loved it so much it made her heart swell. What tickled her made her laugh until her sides hurt. On the other hand, the smallest slight caused her to sob in despair. She was often adrift on a heaving sea of emotions. You have no idea how many ups and downs have ravaged me in the past 24 hours. Well, I hope I can help you get through this. I know this condition is hard, but if you come in every week, we can probably get over it. I can't get a job because of this stupid disorder and it's ruining my life. I will yell. On the other hand, I had a patient by the name of Ray. He was always relaxed and calm. When he told me about his father's death, I was more emotional than he was. His emotions ran the gamut from A to B. Every patient is different, and there's a different way to handle all of their problems. When you and your parents are getting close, what would you want them to know about this time of your life? If you had a magic wand, what change would each of you make in this family? I just want my daughter to be a dancer. My mom doesn't get that I don't want to marry. My problems are overwhelming me. My son behaved rudely to a family friend and I told him to apologize. Before he could, my friend said that it was fine. I don't want him to think that his rudeness doesn't matter. He's been acting out lately. And my boyfriend, 
He doesn't understand who I am or why I'm doing anything. I just feel like no one understands. I just want my wife to give me a kiss when I come home from work. People's mental health issues are huge. And there's been a lot of years where for a long time, society didn't take mental health issues very seriously. Everybody says, you're fine, buck up, everything's fine, be tough. We know now that our brain can come out a certain way, not everybody's is the same. So our life offers different circumstances, and some people react differently than others due to those circumstances. But every brain has the possibility to change. Now cry, now cry. Alright, so you wanna play with this tall 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 tall? Okay. Hello. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. Yeah, my my dad died. Yeah, he's like. Uh, and you told me you were the sweetest.